good morning friends welcome to series of analytical chemistry lectures for tybc analytical uh, chemistry student semester 5 2019 pattern now in this series of lecture of analytical chemistry we are going to learn chapter number 3 thermal methods of analysis and this is a part 3 <clears throat> now here the, this is the last lecture of this chapter thermal methods of analysis basically thermal methods of analysis nothing but it is a group of techniques in which the change in physical property of substance is monitored as a function of temperature or time now here uh, sample in the sample there are uh, there are the physical uh, or chemical changes takes place with time or temperature in any the thermal method of analysis like the dsc the, uh, differential uh, calorimeter difference dta that is a thermal uh, dt dt that is the differential thermal analysis and tga that is thermo gravimetric analysis now these are the three main techniques here thermo gravimetric analysis tga the differential thermal analysis and dsc that is a differential scanning calorimeter these are the three te techniques mainly now here in this lecture we are going to learn about the differential thermal analysis the thermal method of analysis include a group of techniques in which change in physical property of substance is monitored as a function of temperature or time now here change in physical property of sample is recorded with time or temperature in any type of differential uh, any type of thermal method of analysis now here basically differential thermal analysis is one of the thermal analysis technique dta is the one type of thermal method of analysis that is the name of chapter now in this technique change in physical or chemical property of substance is recorded as a function of temperature with with reference material now here what is the definition of dta differential thermal analysis that is in this technique change in physical or chemical property of substance is recorded as a function of temperature with reference to reference material with reference material now here sample uh, sample material and reference material is placed now here there is a difference of the sample and uh, reference material is observed when there is a fluctuation uh, takes place in about the temperature when there is a fluctuation takes place in temperature now here uh, in dta both sample and reference material undergoes controlled heating or cooling program now in dta in differential thermal analysis both sample and reference material undergo controlled heating or cooling program so there is a control manner of uh, about the heating and uh, cooling of about the sample and reference material takes place which is linear with respect to time now there is a we can say we, give, we provide the heat to the sample and reference material so that is a heating or cooling system or program and that should be monitored with time initially when no change in physical or chemical property of sample there is a zero temperature difference in the sample and reference material so delta t is zero when there is no any type of physical or chemical change is observed with temperature but when reaction takes place when we provide the delta t or when we provide the heat or we can say temperature we when we with the help of furnace when we um, provide the temperature at that time there is there is a reaction takes place when this reaction takes place delta t change takes place and this delta t is nothing but the temperature of sample minus temperature of reference material so the this, this is the delta t that is deviation in t or temperature and this is recorded with temperature for exothermic or endothermic transitions now here either exothermic transition takes place or endothermic transition takes place so delta t in dta differential thermal analysis generally there is a on the y graph there is a delta t while on the x axis there is a temperature so delta t versus temperature takes place now we get the two peaks either exothermic or endothermic peaks about the reference and sample material now instrumentation any part of the dta um, consists uh, about the instrumentation consist of furnace first furnace second temperature regulator third one thermocouple fourth one temperature indicator and last one sample caps so sample holder that should be placed uh, in the form of sample caps so furnace is nothing but the uh, it provides it is useful for providing the heat or can say temperature to the dta analysis next one temperature regulator 
Now temperature regulator is useful to provide the programming, linear program about the temperature. Now the third one is thermocouple. Uh, there is a chromal alumal uh, uh, thermocouple is employed for the, uh, and two types. I would say two uh, thermal couples are uh, thermocouples are used in DTA. Especially, uh, especially one is uh, records the temperature of the furnace and the second uh, thermocouple uh, records the delta T with the help of uh, ammeter, micro ammeter. Now next one temperature indicator. So temperature indicator provides the readings and last one sample caps. Basically in the instrumentation part, the sample with the following specifications are used uh, for all DTA measurements. So sample specifications are given in the tabular form. Sample size 100 to 500 milligram sample is useful for the DTA analysis. The particle size of the sample varies in the range of uh, 200 mesh to 250 mesh. Now rate of heating, so with the help of furnace we provide the rate or uh, rate of heating that is a linear rate of heating is uh, that should be uh, provided for the DTA analysis. 3 to 5 degree per minute, 3 to 5 degrees per centimeter uh, uh, per minute uh, heat, heating rate is provided. So heating rate should be uniform, 3 to 5 degree per minute. So for the one minute that should be heating rate 3 to 5 degree and for the same uh, next minutes. The temperature range is about uh, room temperature to 1000 degree centigrade. So about uh, temperature range uh, that it should be vary with the uh, room temperature to 1000 degree centigrade. Now chromal alumal as I have said already chromal alumal uh, thermocouple is employed and the atmosphere should be static. The volume of the sample holder should be of capacity of 150 centimeter cube. So 150 centimeter cube. Centimeter cube is nothing but the ml. So 150 ml. That is the volume of the sample holder should be 150 centimeter. And the last one, very important for the DT analysis, the reference material is selected and that should be magnesium oxide powder. So this is most important information about the DT and its instrumentation, basic principle. With this content, I conclude this lecture. Thank you very much for your patience listening.